Hello everyone and welcome back. Here's something super useful. A simple room temperature and humidity measurement setup that uses an AHT10 sensor connected to an Arduino Nano. An SSD1306 display is being used to display the temperature readings taken by the AHT10 sensor. This whole setup was made as a prototype for a future room temperature meter which will be an AVR based setup that will use an ATtiny, Atmega or SAMD21 microcontroller with the AHT10 sensor and SSD1306 display. The purpose of undertaking this project was to stay informed about the real time temperature of my room considering that I am currently residing in Delhi where the temperature is unpredictably sore during the summer. It is essential to continuously monitor the surrounding area's heat level. This video is about how you can make this simple project in few easy steps. So let's get started. The AHT10 temperature and humidity sensor module is a compact and highly accurate sensor designed to measure temperature and humidity in various applications. This module integrates a high-performance AHT10 sensor chip, which utilizes a capacitive sensing element to detect changes in temperature and humidity. The AHT10 module operates between 1.6V to 6V, which is ideal if we use an external 5V source to power this sensor along with the SSD1306 display and the Arduino board. It communicates with the host device through standard I2C interface, allowing for easy integration and data retrieval. With its low power consumption and fast response time, the AST10 humidity and temperature sensor module is an excellent choice for applications such as environmental link monitoring, weather stations, HVAC systems, and industrial automation. As for sourcing components for this project, I got the Arduino Nano from PCBWay's gift shop along with the AHT10 sensor. The PCBWay gift shop is an online marketplace where you can get variety of electronics module and board for their genuine price. Or you could use the PCBWay's currency which is called beans. You get beans after ordering something from PCBWay as reward points. Or you can also get them by posting any project in their PCBWay community. Check out PCBWay for getting great PCB service for less cost. For temperature and humidity meter setup, we use an Arduino Nano as the main control unit, the AHT10 as sensor and an SSD1306 I2C OLED to display the temperature readings we get from the AHT10 sensor. This setup is temporary, so we use a breadboard to create the project first. We connect VCC of both the display and temperature sensor with the 5V of Arduino. Ground of temperature sensor and display goes to the ground of Arduino Nano. The SCL of temperature sensor and the display get connected together and then added to the A5 of Arduino Nano. The SDA of temperature sensor and display get connected together and then added to A4 of the Arduino Nano. We use jumper wire to connect everything together and after following the wiring diagram, the setup is ready. This code uses the AST10 library to read temperature and humidity values from the AST10 sensor and display them on the SSD1306 OLED display. The temperature sensor AHT10 is working successfully and it is displaying the temperature reading and then humidity reading one after the other at a time interval of 2000 milliseconds after the code has been uploaded. We use a power bank module to power the Arduino setup with the 5V from the USB port which powered the Arduino board. The temperature meter arrangement we created on the breadboard is just the beginning. The final product would be an all-in-one board with a smaller MCU either in Xiao M0 microcontroller or Atmega 32AU chip. A battery will also be added to the setup to power the MCU display and the temperature sensor. The entire device will be housed in an elegantly designed 3D printed body with holes for mounting it on a wall. For time being, this is all there for the version 2 of this project. Leave comment or DM me if you run into any issues. Special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. Do check them out for getting great PCB service at a less cost. Thanks again and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.